Yeah, we're ready. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning into this podcast. It's a very special one. And the day before the 4th of July also is my birthday. I want to share uh, deep gratitude towards everybody tuning in, especially my dear friend hopping on this podcast. And thank you guys so much for being here. Happy birthday. Thank you, guys. Thank Happy you, guys. Happy birthday. birthday. Yeah. Miss you, guys. Nice. Miss you, too, bro. Oh. How yeah. old are you, bro? I'm 28. <laughs> I'm 28 now, so. Hey. hey. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Although, hey. although I feel like I've been just looking like this somewhat for, like, the past 10 years. Uh, but, <laughs> you know, but uh, become for sure more and more mature now. I feel it. Yeah. 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 Well, those those Asian genes, you never, you never grow old. <laughs> <laughs> I think we get to one certain age, and then suddenly we just look like super old. Maybe, maybe that's the case. But uh, yeah, so that's <laughs> good. Overnight. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, I mean, actually, technically, we're all Asians here, right? Are we technically? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. If we're speaking technically, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. I th- yeah, actually, I thought about that. So that's quite interesting. Well, what are you guys been up to? You know, um, Ash, you want to tell us what you guys be- what have you been up to? Just been chilling, man. Working hard. Nice, nice. <laughs> we're the whole family. Man. Wait, where are you? Oh, we work. Oh, we work. Oh, yeah. I yeah, you can tell, man. You can tell. Yeah. Working, working I, I knew hard. that was gonna happen too. I was just waiting for that. Um, <laughs> That was fun. But, uh, cameo appearance. Yeah. Uh, it's been pretty good. It's been yeah. Pretty good. Just came back from the lake. S- Where did you go? Oh, uh, the lake. Like Lake Arrowhead. Is this all like one take or are you going to edit it like later? Yeah. Like if we say something, we want to beep something or yeah, maybe going to beep that. Are we going to, you know, when he want, or, you know, cut that part out. So if we... Like we can just make a note about that, right? Like say it. You know, let's beep this part out, or you know, let's uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, let's yeah, not. I'm let's take that part out. <laughs> yeah, I'm leaving a note. I'm leaving a note for sure. Yeah. Yeah, work's been well, good. Are you? We've just been. <laughs> we've been uh, <laughs> looking at different cases, and you know, we we evaluate each case as it comes, but mm. Mm. it's it's gonna be mm. fun. It's gonna be a fun year. Yeah, it already yeah. it already is. Already is, man. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. How about you, Helan? What you been up to? What's new? Just really trying to clear my shit. Like I was trying to do so much random stuff and like it's so like was barely getting anything done. So now I'm just like I've cleared everything, and now I can finally just pick the most important thing and go all in on it. That's that's my plan. Nice. What are you? What is that one thing that you're going all in on currently? Well, spending today meditating on it, but it's probably going to be uh, I don't want to say it's, well, I guess it doesn't matter. It's for my, I was going to do like ads and like content for probably for my sister's thing, the skincare line, just to like prove that I can blow it up, bring in like, I don't know, say 20, 30 K a month and then, use, right? and then use that money to grow Don Kaka into the billion dollar fashion house. Amen to that, brother. So, how yeah. does it feel when you speak that all out? It feels like I just have to do the work and not be distracted, and I can make it happen. Nice, nice. What's going on with coding, man? Is you doing that, or? Well, that's that's the thing. I have to pick between that or the what I just said. So, I'm probably going to stop coding yeah the, dude i've been watching that like listening to steve jobs and right. johnny ive he's like he's like you have to fo- focus is about saying no when even even when every day you wake up and you want to do some something with like 
every bone in your body, but you're already doing something else. Like you have to say no. So like, yeah, yeah. It's like he says, your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Ooh, yeah. Boom. There's a guru right there. Yoga Nanda talk. <laughs> Yoga Nanda speaking through Steve Jobs. There you yeah. go. Speaking through. Yeah, yeah. Speaking through all of us. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm. Great point. I'm wondering if. Uh, maybe we all heard the story, right? I'm wondering if he actually gave every single person a copy of autobiog autobiog autobiography of a yogi to everyone that went to his funeral. I guess he probably did. I mean, I think it's documented. Yeah. He did it. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's not like yeah. a conspiracy theory. I think, yeah. <laughs> I think everybody that went, they got one. That was yeah. good. Yeah. I'm wondering if it's in their yeah. like iPad or you know it's like a photocopy. I don't know if it's photocopy is a blue one or is the orange one. You know what I mean? So. Oh yeah. Yeah, I read that it was the only book he had on his iPad. Yeah, I read that too. That, that was the only book he had, and he read it something like forty times. Right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and yeah, like I think it's documented that he gave away the copies to everyone at his funeral. Like wow. that's the one thing he wanted. Incredible. Incredible. That book is insane. Yeah. What's yeah. new with you, Mr. Dunkaka? We out here. We out here. Out tell, here. Tell the world what you're up to. Um, we're just finishing up the new clothes. Hopefully, less than a week away from finishing. Um, best clothes yet. Um, that doesn't matter though. That part doesn't. Uh, it's always going to be the best. Um, and <laughs> yeah, just fi yes, just sir. finishing that up. Uh, it's going to be called the Medici Collection, based off uh, the Medici's and the Renaissance. Um, a lot of cool cool clothes. Going to be all men's clothes, and then yeah, that's uh, that's like ninety nine percent of the focus, or ninety five. Yeah. Nice. Why Medici? Uh, I just like uh, the Renaissance. So, um, and Medici's are the funders of the Renaissance. There's no Renaissance without Medici. Yeah. And absolutely. I think everybody agrees that the Renaissance was like one of the most artistically <clears throat> uh, flagrant times of the near century. So, um, and most influential times of the maybe past thousand years. So yeah. 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 A lot of art science Absolutely. and stuff. Yeah. It just popped up in my mind. Like this name, this phrase, House of Medici actually sounds super cool. How yeah, House of Medici. I don't know House if they of called it that, it. but on Wikipedia it says House of Medici, but I don't know if that's what they called it back then. <laughs> Isn't that a Netflix show? Sure. <laughs> I think House of Medici is written on my shirt. <laughs> yeah, it's uh. What did you watch that? Um, I've seen it a long time ago, like three episode documentary from like BBC or something. Did you did you see that one? Uh, maybe I seen all. I think I seen all the documentaries. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, Netflix made a show about Medici. Three seasons. It's like recently 2016 to 19. okay yeah i'm looking at like fun facts so you know two of them one is they sponsored like michelangelo leonardo da vinci botticelli which are like some of the most influential figures um mm -hmm. during the renaissance time right which is a huge leap of art and also combining together with science right huge progress and uh also, a member of the family called Catherine de' Medici, she became the queen uh, consort of France through her marriage to King Harry II. So she had actually, she also from Italy, right? So she had profound influence on French politics and culture during the 16th century. So that's pretty cool. Nice. Yeah, they were, yeah. their whole family was super influential. Yeah. And this is what a European... Uh, Royals they used to do back in the days, right? They were just like kind of marrying super powerful families so that they, you know, have influence and control over like other territories and other countries. Yeah. That's pretty interesting. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. 
pretty much. <laughs> nice. Nice. Who are you going to marry, Don? Uh, from where? From where? Oh, from oh, Italy or Italy. where, you know? No, I think there's some for still some princess? princesses in the in the princesses in the Middle East. So I'll find a princess. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. For sure. <laughs> for sure. How many pieces more or less for this collection? Uh, I don't know, maybe like around 10, 11, 12, maybe. Nice. Yeah. Nice. We're keen, we're keen, we're looking forward. Yep, yep, nice. yep. It's gonna yeah. be some good shit. For sure, G, for sure. Actually, it's been like almost a year or two years since you were last in Spain. Yeah, right. And yeah. I miss oh, Spain. Shit. Spain is so shit. beautiful. It's like yeah. the playground of the world, basically, when you go there. I feel like that's my Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> that is yeah. kind of true, right? Yeah. It's yeah, like, like the whole food, Europe. The weather, the food, the beauty. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. I actually love the art from the Renaissance. I feel like it's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. That time, it just makes you feel like, like the beauty inside my heart and i kind of get a taste of that when i go to spain yeah totally because i was, was it botticelli or somebody else like the way he painted like between the light and darkness is so crazy it's so surreal compared to any of the photographies and let alone a lot of these like contemporary contemporary artists it's just like absolutely mind-blowing mind what are you talking about vermeer but I don't know if he was in the Renaissance. If you're talking about somebody that used a lot of shadows and light and stuff. Let me look it up. Great question. Well, maybe I'll look it up later. Yeah, you just look it up later. Yeah, yeah. Nice. You know, you're about... going into the tree, dude. What happened? <laughs> it was hot as fuck. <laughs> the sun is like <laughs> raining down on me, so I need some shade. Yeah, obviously. Also, you're wearing like a black shirt, you know. Shout out to Bitcoin. Hey, it's a Don Kong. Yeah. Yes, sir. Shout out to Don Kong. Shout out to Bitcoin. 38, 39k. We back. We back. It's 38k. I think so. It's 31. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, just it's kidding. 28. Just kidding. 28. It, it's one million dollars. 31. It's 31. Almost 32. Oh, Maybe oh, I'm looking at euros. Friends. Okay, cool. 20, 20, 20, yeah. 28k euros. Yeah, okay, gotcha. Okay. Yeah, man. 28 million euros. <laughs> when whoever's watching this 20 years from now. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or or it's zero. Yeah, it's <laughs> worse, exactly. It's zero or it's a couple million. Yeah. We're buy making that dips. prediction right now. Yeah. Ash, did you buy the dips? I did, yeah. About here we go here we go but honestly i don't even care you know yeah it's what like... is your currently largest um uh, how does it which uh, of your crypto assets what is your currently largest stake i mean i've been focusing He's... on my spiritual bank account so god is the god coin god coin is the biggest <laughs> Because, nice you know, it doesn't watch. even matter. <laughs> Bro, right? someone like, going to listen to this podcast and do like a God coin, man. I swear, man. I swear. Oh, there already is on Coinbase. That's, they have God coin. Oh, they that's do? That's what we meant, though. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We're, talk, it's <laughs> we're talking about the real thing. He's talking about the real thing, John. <laughs> yeah, the real thing. You can't yeah. really get it with, through a coin. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Like, um, mm -hmm. But a lot of people made it their religion, which is yeah. kind of sad to see like no. um especially well, like these days people get like in a cult almost about it and yeah that's what i like about you know stepping out of that and still investing but without attachment absolutely the one of my favorite quote from the Bhagavad Gita it says that ash told me so many times right and we talk about all of us, we talk about so many times, right? Yogis are only entitled to their actions, never to the fruit of their actions. Yeah. <laughs> it's very right. true. It's true. Yeah. It's true. 
because there's yeah. no security anywhere in this world. And at any time, you know, we might have to move on. And so relying on that stuff is pretty pointless. Absolutely. Does that mean um, like, if they, if say they build a business, which I doubt a yogi is going to do, but in this example, if they build a, a billion dollar business, they're not entitled to the business. Is that what that means? It's like, it's not theirs. It means what you want it to mean. <laughs> oh. <laughs> basically, oh love it. Right. it basically means that uh, Tell them. when you do Tell something, them, Donna. Uh, there, I think there's two because it goes pretty in depth about it in the Bhagavad Gita. But uh, I think it's one that um, you're just supposed to work and whatever happens has nothing to do with you. Um, and then uh, also you're not entitled to the fruits labor is you're you're not supposed to do something and just make a bunch of money and take the money and just live a very materialistic lifestyle like you're just supposed to uh build something um and all and on and not uh care about uh, the money that's being made and if anything you don't even want the money being made mm. boom how do you feel about that Helon? Yeah, like you're building for everyone, not just for yourself. Yeah. Yeah. And to make something beautiful. Yeah. Bring beauty in the world because that's more important. You know, if you make a beautiful art piece, you might not be recognized till after you die. I think there's artists who were completely laughed at like while they were alive and then hundreds of years later, their art is all you know, in the museum and everything and they built yep. something beautiful, even though they were not appreciated for it at the time. And, you know, mm -hmm. I think there's something beautiful about that. I agree. Yeah. Even Leonardo da Vinci, apparently he struggled so much with his arts. And and obviously now looking back, Mona, Mona Lisa is one of the most famous painting on this planet, right? Yeah. But because we can t we can tell that he was struggling so much because he have all these works of statues of frescoes frescoes and paintings that he never finished, and he has so many drawings yeah. of signs, design of uh, sketches, right? But he never like really put them out there, right? We it it just shows that even yeah, he, he great creators or artists like that, he was funded by Medici, Leonardo da Vinci. Tarzan, what's good, Tarzan? <laughs> So it's a lot cooler in the tree than outside of the tree. I'm sure, G. A few degrees cool. That's a perfect. That's a perfect example of uh, it's a lot cooler in union with God than than being in the matrix, right? Yeah, exactly. Yo, yo, exactly. boom, boom. Yeah, I think you're good, Ash. Maybe I was just tripping. Sorry. Yeah, I think he was fine. I, I yeah. it sounded fine to me. It sounded fine. All right, my bad, my bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, my bad, my bad. When hey guys, when are we doing the fashion show in Europe? Could oh, we honestly, before everybody before everybody answer? Could we do? I just had this idea. My phone's tripping. Before before I before I start, could we just do this? L A. Copenhagen and New York. How do you feel about that? LA, New York, Copenhagen. Dude. That's Copenhagen. I want to actually I what? forgot about that. But let's let's real I, I would say let's really shoot to have one in Copenhagen before Why? the end of the before the end of the year. That would be amazing. Why? Actually Copenhagen Fashion Week is in like August. So uh, maybe somehow we can magic. I'll talk to Sufi. Okay, if if uh, if everything allows, if we're in a position for it, we can. We go to Copenhagen. That'd be great. Nice. I yeah. actually hit him up right before this uh, podcast. Oh, you to did. See, yeah, to see uh, to see what he's like. I asked him exactly that. Could we like, if if we want to do that, could he uh, you know put us in touch with somebody? Well, he was already trying to do that last year, but I just told him it wasn't a good time. Cause, nice. Yeah. 
Why yeah. Copenhagen? It's the best. Copenhagen is the best, and they it's like super tiny, every, and everybody's super fashionable. It's like shit spreads since the the whole country is like one 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 city in America. Shit's it's just like if you have a fashion show, you're having a fashion show practically for the whole country versus uh, the whole city. And there's also super, we got some cool connections there too. So everybody's fashionable out there too. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. Just have to. Avoid it. Yeah, yeah. I think it stays. How is it in in Spain? Does it get dark at like twelve a.m.? I mean, now it's literally about to be ten, and you know, and still like natural light is still very, very nice. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, like sunset is. Like nine fifty, about to be ten. So yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, as well. I wish it was like that. Imagine it got. I know in in Holland it gets dark at like twelve a.m. Like uh, in the summertime, which is so crazy. That's crazy. That's so crazy. Yeah, I think all in those like in the yeah, also in the Scandinavian countries as well, right? Yeah. And I think, I think one one of the other reason is that Donald, you didn't you have a lot of uh, like. TikTok, your audiences, they are like from like Germany, like Copenhagen, like Denmark, like over there, right? Yeah, I think so. Not a lot. I think it's like 5% or something. 8%. Five percent. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. We're going to be like, Dre, we're going to do some captions. We're going to do some captions of your TikTok video in, uh, in, Dan- in, in Danish. Danish. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do that, man. Let's or do that. In Antarctica. What do you say? Fashion I can't hear. I can hear your reports, dude. <laughs> yeah, your voice. Wait, can is you muffled. guys not hear? Yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't hear it clearly. What do you say? I said, "What if we have a fashion show in Antarctica?" I think that's actually a great idea. Like, you know, maybe, bro. I'm what actually dead serious. Maybe a little bit more down the road. That would be so crazy. Yeah, yeah. We'll do like a winter, real winter collection, and you showed off in Antarctica. It's like, look, you don't freeze to death. That'll be for real. That'll be good. Yeah. Then, then all the on all the explore, Antarctic explorers can wear it, wear the clothes. They don't have to wear shitty uh, Montclair or North Face anymore. Oh, attack them! Attack them! You know. No, they're good. Later on this podcast, you know, my sister's going to send that clip to the PR uh, manager at Montclair, you know, be like, do you have, uh, uh, we asked you to comment on that. Montclair actually makes some good, good clothes. I think they make good stuff. Yeah, they're pretty cool. They're getting cooler now. I was going to say, oh yeah. So uh, when I went to Rome, I think like last summer, I saw this like art show of this sculptor. So he have like, a lot of really amazing stuff, right? But he carved something super small. It's like a human being inside of this, like a human baby inside of this egg. And it's about like this big, right? Mm-hmm. And somehow, I don't know whether it's through SpaceX or whatever, right? Somehow he sent that sculpture to space, right? And that actually created a lot of buzz in Europe for him, right? Oh, and then really? through that, you know, he just kind of, have that snowball rolling to have more and more opportunity. And then at that time in the summer, he was doing exhibition at one of the biggest and most prestigious art gallery in Rome, like in the city center, quite close to Colosseum, right? So, and since then I had, I had this idea, you know, we gotta be the first brand to do a fashion show in space, y'all. Of course. <laughs> talk to your boy, Hilan, bro. Hilan, go talk to Elon. <laughs> yeah, we'll give yeah. him a- <laughs> give him a call. He was, he yeah, was talking to to Bernard. Did you see that? Wait, Musk what? And, Musk and Bernard were meeting and talking about doing a a cologne, a Elon Musk cologne. For oh, LVMH. I heard about it. I heard about it. I'm wondering how how does it smell like? You know. Yeah. Yeah. It's How pretty, much was it? Pretty wild. 
How much no, was it? They were just talking about doing it. Okay. I thought they he already made a clone. Yeah, I thought it was already out. I some I heard some people bought it. Not have they shipped so, it yet? So. No, there's that. I think it was called like, uh, Boring Harris Company one. No, that was just them. That was for fun. But this is like LVMH. What? Wow. Okay. Yeah, I guess probably because their uh, men's ready to wear is. It's not nobody bought it, so they're like, "Yo, we gotta talk to the biggest influencer on the planet, aka Elon." So, the, actually, I think a lot of these companies, their biggest sales come from the perfumes. Yeah, like, I think it's like eighty percent, seventy to eighty percent, all come from accessories. If you yeah, which include, is great, uh, perfume and cologne into that, right? So yeah, yeah, like belts, like phone cases, and. Bags. Yeah, like just a little, which is kind of crazy, actually. Apps, yeah, right. yeah, absolutely. It's kind of, actually, this is crazy. Eighty percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brother, I told you, bro. The bags we're getting on the bags. G soon, G soon, G. Dude, I can't do five hundred. I gotta stay focused. <laughs> man. That's the problem. <laughs> yeah, I, man. I already. I would love to do a cologne. I love cologne. Yeah. Like coffee. <laughs> Oh my god, that actually sounds. That actually tastes great. We'll just put. Then we'll just put coffee in a spray bottle with with chocolate. That's wild. Yeah, bro, call, call it like uh, Sherman 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 Oaks like chocolate <laughs> or something. Sherman Oaks bubble tea, G, you know. <laughs> <laughs> or just no, late night or late Sherman hours Oaks. of Sherman Oaks. Bro, yeah, literally just call Sherman Oaks, dude. Oh my god. Yeah. Have an oaky That's- smell. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Have a have a oaky o- o- smell, exactly, bro. Maybe we should beep that part out so that we can do it. Actually, do it in the future. Yeah, we can do it. <laughs> I would, I would love. This whole... Yeah, yeah, like, totally. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it says red boy, oak smells like vinegar and white oak <laughs> vinegar, like dude. Vanilla. <laughs> maybe, maybe maybe make another one that smells like dumplings, bro. How about that, man? <laughs> <laughs> another one that smells like taking a dump. <laughs> smells like smells like paella, bro. It smells yeah, like paella. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, nice. Well, I posted this video yesterday. Um. Maybe some of you guys saw, like, I, I've been doing a little bit um, interview on the street with just strangers. And then I talked to this girl from Czech Republic, and I posted on the Chinese Instagram. It's called Xiao Hong Shu, which I said we all should check that out, especially Donna. I know you have, like, 100 things going on. And I think last time we talked, there was, like, 2,000 views. And by now, I think it has, like, 8,000 views. And uh, keep in mind, I only have, like, 130 followers on the app. Right. Nice. And, good, and people in the comments. We did interview English with subtitle in Chinese. And the comments mm. are hilarious, dude. Bro, you should post more on there then. Yeah, that's my that's my main focus. Like I just post that on some of those stuff on Instagram nowadays just to, you know, like just like pretty much why not? But that's my main focus with my all my videos now. Nice. Yeah. That's like a untapped market. Chinese in you're up for America posting to China. Yeah. That's and a, also that's it really gives cool. Absolutely. And also it gives like super detailed like data report. It says like I mean obviously it's me talking to this like very tall and good looking mm, girl from Northern Europe, right? So it's like thirty percent more followers are women and seventy percent are men. And just from that video, this guy commented on it. <clears throat> he said, Oh, you look like this Japanese person, right? Yeah. At the beginning, I said, oh, haha, thank you. I'm going to look him up, right? And then last night before I went to sleep, down right after, right, I think right before after our call, I look it up, that guy, right? Bro, my mind was blown. So he commented on me, like, look at this, like, maybe maybe need to cut this part out too, right? But he was saying that it's like this Japanese guy didn't look it up, right? He was like, he murdered some people and he murders, <laughs> like, he murdered some people. And then somehow he, then he like fled to America and then, and then, like, it's kind of like old Japanese OJ vibes, you know? 
and uh, and then they couldn't find the evidence. Then then they let him out. Then he wrote like a book about his life. <laughs> Dude, okay. it was nuts, man. And then people were like, and, and then some more chills. One people like commenting on my height, and people were like uh, following up, be like, oh, what happened after, and stuff. And all, and also a lot of people supporting. But it is so funny because like, I was say Chinese people what? just go What's straight. Like we don't give a f, you know. What you awful ganger? What's his name? We don't need to know, know the name of that guy. I want to look him up, see if he looks like him. <laughs> I was I I only know like how to say how to say that in Chinese. Later, I'll send it to you. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, sounds good. But those comment <laughs> sections are hilarious, right? Which leads to one topic I want to ask you, uh, Donna. I'm not sure if you get this that much, or you or you get this at all, right? But how do you manage? The negativity sometimes from the internet, right? Because, bro, before you answer that, right? It just felt, I just felt different when something is like written on the words. You know, maybe if they say it, you know, in person or whatever, is is different, right? But when it's written, you know, like all caps or this and that, whatever, you know, it just kind of have a different impact. So, I don't know. I think it's funny. I don't. I never care when people write. Stuff like, cause it's always there's always like a for like every hate there's always way more positivity. So, and if there's no hate, then I'm like something's wrong here. So, <laughs> if there's no hate, then I think you're not like I'm like hmm, why is everything everybody so praiseworthy? There's got to be some people that are like fuck you, you idiot. So, uh, yeah, I think, I think it's good to have a little. <laughs> you got to have some, a little bit of hate in there because uh, you can't, uh, you can't, you know, you can't have all praise all the time. Yeah, I mean, they really are because they help、Ooh. boost,、uh, boost your profile. Because, yeah, they really help a lot, actually. The, yeah. Because they they those people start talking shit, and then the people that like what you're doing, they'll defend you, and then they can you can create a whole battle going on that just helps your cause even more. Nice. What's your take on hate, Hilon?、Mm. When you tell us when you were running for the mayor, how about that? You know, elaborate a little on that. You know, with that example, dude. When it's aimed at me, it's funny. Like, actually, when it's aimed at Donna, like when I read it, it pisses me off. But I don't. I think it's like it's necessary. It's like a filter for doing great things. You have to get hate and then surpass it. And it's also they help spread the word too. So it's in terms、Fair、of、enough. dealing with it. I I just laugh. I think it's pretty funny. Yeah.、So、I've never experienced like truly vile hate, which I've seen other people. I don't know. I couldn't couldn't comment on that. Yeah. There is some weirdos though. Like people started going on all my profiles and、like、making new accounts to 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 hate on me when I was doing that, and I was just like, what the hell. I've heard some people who are running for office. They had people show up at their house and just weird shit. And it's like the nutcases really come out when you do that stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think politics is another ball game because politics is like people probably feel like you're you're gonna personally come for them. So then they're like,、oh, I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come for this person. Huh. That's funny. Yeah. Hey, on on the topic of politics, I I really hope RFK RFK Junior wins the president, and I think he will. Bro, he has like the top twenty podcasts in America. Top twenty five what? Top twenty podcasts, like his personal podcast is top twenty in America. Oh, cool! I didn't even know he had a podcast. Yeah, me neither.、Yeah. 
I didn't even know who he was until like a week ago. Seriously. Oh really? I mean, yeah. I don't expect you to. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're, you're boiling out a game for too long. Ash, yeah. you got any, any comment on that? <laughs> what about the hate thing? What's your comment on that? Yeah. Did you ever had some experience like that? And how did you like overcame? How do you how did you overcome it? Ooh. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah. True. It's so surface level, though. Like, why? Why are there? <laughs> I mean, not everybody's gonna like everything. But you didn't I mean, have uh, you seen? Yeah. Huh? Go ahead, you. Yeah. I was like, have you seen, like, internet haters? Like, they're saying, I hope you die in a file. Like, a, they just say the most violent things ever. It's like, why is that inside of you? <laughs> why are you saying that? I've seen girls that make, like, TikToks, and then they post their their hate that they get on Instagram. It's just the nastiest shit you can imagine. I think maybe people, people just need to get slapped. Maybe we just need to like line people up and start punching them. Like have like a monthly line you up. pull up your DMs and if you say violent things you get punched. <laughs> Maybe that could stop the hate. Well, I mean then the if that happens, you know, Helon's gonna be the first person in America to be like the punisher. <laughs> You know, you're gonna go outside of people's doors, like, let me check your DM, you can pause him in a minute. <laughs> there we go. You're gonna be very busy in California. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, but I was listening to this podcast with, I think, Mark Zuckerberg. So he was talking about with the help of AI, right? And then A will go through like the comments, like a to create like a filter, right, of like different level. If it's like too much hate, then that account will, gonna, is, will be automatically banned or, you know, it's going to restrict like this account's access or be able to comment or share something or engage with other accounts for like three days or a couple of days, right? I guess now the algorithm already could do that, right? But I think with, you know, AI getting more and more events, that's going to be like much better, right? Which also I think that's a big problem what's with what's going on with the social media right because it's you know i mean it doesn't have to be as serious as so much neg negativity but something like that right so so that's essentially a safer environment because i think we're all, all grown grown as men here we're fine right but how about someone 16 18 15 years old using tiktok or using insta right then think about that that would be pretty crazy mm -hmm. yeah. yeah nice boys well i think we got this hour here you know i'm gonna wrap it up soon question to y'all i think i'm gonna wrap it up with two questions right so first question is that if you could go back in time give yourself that 18 year old self an advice what would that be ash go mm, 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 mm. You're not giving yourself to buy Bitcoin or some lotto number. Wait, what do you say? <laughs> Bitcoin will be 30,000. <laughs> buy Bitcoin. <laughs> buy Bitcoin, yeah. Facts, facts. So with a Bitcoin shirt made by Don Kaka. We out here. Hey. How about you, Donna? Probably <laughs> don't have avoided as many girls as as you have. <laughs> wait, wait, what? <laughs> Date more girls. <laughs> oh, go go on more dates. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious. There you go. Cool. So we you? are like in. What do you say? Yeah. What about you? 18 
Great question. I would say like encourage myself to take more risks. I try more things. Right. I'm already super grateful. The reason I met you all was because of I moved from East Coast to LA to start doing the startup things. Yeah. I started my first business and second businesses. And I think there were some critical opportunities that I could have pushed myself a little bit harder. Right. And I think take more risks because, you know, I was extremely young at the time. Again, we're still young, even I'm 28 now today. But I think, you know, take more risks because it's, I heard somebody say that, like, it's how success you tend to get depends on how much failure or mistakes you have made without truly, truly fuck up. Like, so I think that's what I would tell myself. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Well, we're already in July. We have about five, six more months till the end of the year. So what would you like to accomplish or what do you want yourself to feel? Uh, you could get, you know, just talk about the feeling or you could get in details by December 31st, 2023. Who's first? Donna, let's go. Oh, you asked me first? Yeah. Um, you said, what do you want to... I, sw- I really just want to put out like uh, maybe like four collections by the end of the year. Yeah. Nice. That's really nice. Awesome. Maybe a little bit more in detail. Four great collections. Yeah. I want to. That people absolutely love, right? I want to put out at least two women's collections. This, yeah. This collection that I'm finishing. And then maybe one more men's collection. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> How about you, Tarzan? <laughs> uh, I shouldn't have moved. Okay. Well, you just stay right here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I feel like I've been at this level that I'm at for way too long, so I, I need to get to the next level of the game of life. So that's my focus right now, and I want to do it by the end of the year. Yeah. 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 Quick come on that quick come on that, right? I think like me and Donna were all of us have talked about individually before, right? Like I remember so like use the example, right? During during the quarantine we we started selling the masks and it went super well. Right. And then I remember like I was you know, because I was in Spain, right? So I had a lot of time to call you all. Right. And then I remember we we're like spending so much time to think about how to or what the next level is like right and then maybe a year later when we had the same conversation again well, then we realized like maybe there's not quite of the next level as what we would imagine we're always seeing the i don't know the video games or the movies right but if the next level comes it comes from you taking the next challenge taking the next risks risks and then little by little, they just accumulate into like the next level that we imagined, where we believed, right? Because it all comes down to like the, all the different decisions that you make and then they accumulate it and then you have the exponential growth. So it is quick comment on that because it was, um, it was um, very interesting and slightly painful lesson at the time. Now, now look back, we think it's quite funny. But yeah. how about you, Mr. Ash? Yeah. Nice. When so you, you coming to Spain in September or what? You're going to you're going to Spain, Ash. <laughs> Ash is trying to have a three week party fender bender in Spain. Party every day for three weeks straight. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, now now if you come to Spain, my gym is awesome. I have like a Turkish bath and sauna in there, and I've been, I've been like going there like five to six times a week. I don't like work out every day, but you know, they'll pick one day, play basketball and whatnot, right? But it's, you know, it, it does help you feel like quite amazing. It's like, you just have like one hour to like challenge yourself as much as possible as you could physically, right? And then it just, you just feel super good, right? Because you have all these little challenges that you're all coming up every day. And that's how you feel like, you know, feeling the secret. That's how you're feeling quite amazing, like every day, you know? And 
And obviously, sometimes caffeine helps too. Naps help too. You know, I'll be laying down my yoga mat and fall asleep for 15 minutes, right? Because my yoga mat is literally this thin. So, yeah. Those are my hacks. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. I just went back to some of my family. So I'm kind of, you know, on, on your note, Ash, right? So, and it's so great, right? Because before that, I was wasn't quite sure about whether I should go back home. I was a little bit nervous because it has been so long. It's been like almost four years. And actually yesterday I was a little bit sad because I was calling my parents and my puppy, she was a little bit depressed because I spent so much time with her when I was in China. And now I'm like, and now I'm gone, right? And you know, you know, all animal needs like physical contacts and someone to give them the attention, right? So one of my goals is to... <clears throat> Travel to the States, West Coast, East Coast, because I still got a ton of friends in DC area and we should all hit a Miami if it's possible. So yeah, also actually spending more time with friends, right? Because yeah, because I really see very soon that how our life will turn out, which is like, okay, cool. We're all acing the work in each of our own area. And then because of that, that part is already solid. And then when we come together, then we'll be able to truly enjoy and be absolutely in presence, right? Because the system's already set up, right? Then we can be like, okay, cool. Now we're doing this show in Copenhagen. Then we're going to Beijing for a little bit because we're talking, doing a collab with this brand that they're doing accessory. They're absolutely killing it. And then maybe we'll head out to, you know, Hong Kong to go some speaking engagements. Then we head back to, you know, somewhere in Europe, London, because, because some of us got invited to speak at one of our school, right? Then we head back to LA, to New York, to do a few more shows and speaking engagements, right? And I see myself as a role, which is also go along with that, right? To challenge myself to making like just 1% better of when it comes to video creating and content creating, whether it's editing video and public speaking as well right so that's you know when we come together and like this solid skill set will be will be beneficial for everything we're doing 